this is it. This is the moment. This is where we pull the trigger on getting the guitar that you want, that you're going to start your musical journey with. Now, up till now, you have thought about what kind of guitar you want to get, thought about what kind of music you want, thought about the sounds you want to get out of it, and thought about your kind of budget and all the accessories that you need to collect with it all. Now, the next step, this is the final step, is when you're about to pull the trigger on the guitar you want. Now, there's two ways that you're going to buy a guitar. You're either going to go to a store and you're going to purchase the guitar in the store, or you're going to buy it online through a either wholesaler or whatever website that they have, or secondhand. So you're either getting it online or you're getting it um, in store. Now, secondhand guitars, unless you can go to the person's house and play them, you know, I would highly recommend you kind of do that with secondhand guitars, but sometimes you can't. I bought a guitar from Japan that was way cheap and it ended up being absolutely awesome and I never played it, so that's okay. But what you want to do is you want to jump in when you go to the store, even though you have zero experience on the guitar and you have no idea what's going on, again, we don't want to quit the guitar. Like this number one rule, do not quit guitar. We want to keep practicing. And we want the thing that makes us happy. We want the guitar that we enjoy the most. So look for the guitar that you like the look of the most. That's the first step. Now, the next thing is the type of neck on the guitar will make a difference, especially for a beginner. It's like one of the earliest things that you can figure out quite early, like the thing, which is what we call the feel of the neck. Now, the back of the neck is either going to be glossy or it's going to be matte. And the different thickness of the fretboard is going to matter as well. And that's going to bug you. So when you first start playing, um, you know, you want to go around when you pick up the guitar, even though you don't know anything about the guitar, you want to put your hand like this, kind of like a, like a, like a pincer of like a crab or something. And you want to put your hand around and then just, just like, just move your hand up and down, like your thumb, drag your thumb up and down kind of thing. And then see how it feels to have your hand over it. And does it, does it feel nice? Do you like the feel of the glossiness or does it, does it like just, does it like hurt? Like, uh, do you feel like a lot of restriction? Cause some people have a straight up preference to whether like they, like you'll know right away whether you like a matte finish, which is not a lot of the, there's no gloss on it. It's just the wood or you prefer like the, the glossier thing. Um, and you have different kinds of necks, like maple neck and rosewood neck. Now, the the different woods that they're going to tell you, like this spruce, blah, 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 grown in the, the grove of the ancient wonders that was cut down by a majestic lumberjack that was then processed by this meal plant and then done by this guy and then it built into this guitar and it's one of like 500 guitars. Like, they have all of that information and... Honestly, none of that shit matters to you because you're a beginner. And even if I gave you a $20,000 guitar, you would still sound like shit. So <laughs> just remember that whatever they're saying, it really doesn't matter. Like pick up the guitar, pick up the one you like the look of, you like the wood because some people like really light woods. You know, I typically prefer darker woods, you know, but if you look at the back there, um, Dylan, one of our followers on TikTok, one of our OGs, the absolute legend, Dylan Kane, he bought a 12 string guitar for us so I could play Ocean. And that has like a, this really creamy light wood that's really nice. And I never would buy that guitar. Like never ever. But now that I have it, I'm like, I kind of like it. Like quite a lot. So so you you don't know like... Go for the thing that you like and then like mess around with it and then like play through a feel like you won't be able to play them properly, but move your hands around the neck, see what it feels like. Don't worry about the tension of the strings. Be like, because sometimes you'll go to the guitar store and you'll be like, oh, this is easy to play. And that's because it was set up correctly. Um, and then you'll play another one that might be a great guitar. You'll be like, oh, this isn't easy to play. Like you can't, you need to operationalize what feels good. And what feels good is actually your hand on the back of the neck because as you're moving through the fretboard, you, that's literally what you're going to be doing the whole time. You want to make sure it feels good. You want to make sure it sits well on you. You want to make sure that you like the look of it. You want to make sure that when you're looking down on it, you're like, I, I like this guitar. This is a, a cool, they're your friend. 
This is about to go on a journey of like so much pain, so much pain, so much pain, <laughs> so much pain and tears and sweat and rage. And you're going to want to smack it on a wall, but just know that it's a beautiful journey and you want to make sure that your guitar is your bestie and you want to have a great time with your guitar. So make sure when you go to a guitar store, you don't stress about what's going on on all the strings and all that shit. And you don't care about what these guys are saying. Like you want to have rosewood or maple, blah, blah, blah. Just get the one that you like. Maple has, it looks, it looks yellowy. It has like a yellow neck and then rosewood has like a black neck. Pretty much. That's how I look at it. I'm like, one's woody, one's yellow. So you can see that my Telecaster, where is it there? That has a maple neck. And then my Stratocaster, sorry, I'm looking over here. I'm really bad at pointing with cameras. Has a maple, uh, has a rosewood neck. Do I know the difference? Uh, I mean, you can feel the difference, but personally, I just don't care. I like them. I, I like the, I like the blue on yellow. It looks really cool. And I love the rosewood on the pink. It looks great. You know, so... That's, that's the thing that you need to do. So when you're testing the guitars, that's what you're testing for. They're testing for the feel. Do you like the feel of the gloss? Do you like the feel of the, of the mat? And that's all you need to worry about as a beginner. This is your first guitar and it will not be your last guitar. Trust me, if you get really into it and you find heaps of passion for it, you know, you will invest in a better instrument later on down the track. And that's when you can, with experience playing, you can then actually use knowledge and, and do it. And we will make a course for you as well, being like how to compare different like woods and what's the different tones, what's the difference between pickups and blah, blah, blah. And we'll get ex experts maybe, we'll see. That's kind of what I would want to do is get some like experts to come in and chat with you guys and like, we'll have like really cool courses and talk about all that stuff. But at the beginning, just whatever feels nice and that's what you need to do. Now, if you're going, now this is the next, like, so that's the part where you're just testing the guitar. You know what guitar you want and you're testing the guitar, you're playing it and you're like, okay, this is the most important part. You are about to buy your guitar. Now, number one rule, do not spend retail price on the guitar. You do not need to do it. Please save your money to buy extra cool shit that you need, like the guitar setup and things like that. Do not be nice to these guys whether they, you know, you're like, oh, this guy was a really nice guy. You know, I loved him. Like he was great and he helped me out or this person was a great salesman. It's like, no, you look at the guitar, you get the serial code on the guitar, you get your phone and then you will go to Google and then you will search up that guitar. So say I'm like, hey, I want to get a Mini Maiden, this one, Mini Maiden EM6, this is what I have. Now I'm gonna to go to the guitar store. I'm gonna go and play a bunch of Mini Maidens. I'm gonna have a great time with it. It's like fantastic. Then the guys on the price tag is gonna be, this is $1,900. And I'm gonna be like, well, dude, that's fantastic. I'm gonna get my phone up literally in front of him. You don't have to do it in front of him if you're a bit nervous, but please do not be scared. You just, this is money. Money is important. Do not waste your money. Take care of yourself first because these other people, they take care of themselves Trust me, as much as they want. Now you're gonna go mini maiden. So for me, I would just go, I would Google, this is how fast it's gonna go. I'm like, play my mini maiden, he says 1900. I'm gonna go mini maiden EM6. If you're an acoustic guitar, you can see it inside the sound hole. They'll, sorry, inside the sound hole, they'll have like the actual thing, or you can just ask the guy, hey, can you, can you let me know? So I'll look up mini maiden EM6. And then I will see online, so on my phone, I'll go and I'll, I'll see, oh my God, Mini Maiden EM6, all solid guitar. It's on sale for $3,300. Hey, is there a reason why, you just say to them, is there a reason why I wouldn't purchase that one from them right now? You say, I would love to buy it from you, but can you give me a, a price that's close to that? And they will have to price match. Um, any good guitar store is going to price match for you. If you feel really, really bad, just do the price match on the guitar and then pay full price for the accessories if you want to. That's what I do because I'm, I'm not a savage. <laughs> I'm a little bitch. Let's be real. I can't, I can't do that. I'm like, ah, I'll do it for the guitar because I know it's like a couple hundred dollars that I'm saving. But then for the strings, I'm like, ah, yeah, you can get me with that $10 on that guitar strings. It's all right. I'll take that one. <laughs> I'll take the hit on that. So you see a bit of give and take if you want to, if you want to. But otherwise, if you're straight, like, hey, we're saving money, you know, inflation's insane right now. 
um, especially at the time of this recording, 2024. Um, yeah, just price match the guitar and get it there. And if they say no, then you say, no problem. You know what guitar you like, you know what it is, buy it online and get it delivered. You've already played it. Make sure you just take notes for like, ask them what is the neck that they have and make sure it matches with the online one. They can give you all the specifications of that one, write it all down and then make sure it matches with the one online and then get that. Because either way, you're getting the guitar set up. It's all gonna be play playable. So that's what you need to do. Online, you're typically going to get the cheaper guitars for sure, because of um, they're just way better. Like, I don't know, they just sell them so cheap. I don't know logistically how the business works, why they can do it so well and so cheap, but they get the good deals. So definitely buy your guitar online if you don't wanna purchase it through the store and you wanna save some money. You just might have to wait a week before it arrives. So remember, that's what you need to do. So hopefully from start to finish, this has given you at least a little bit more context onto buying your guitar. Look, uh, I will keep improving this little course, but this is just my intro for you guys. I want you guys to walk in with a little bit of information that you can come in and you can be like, all right, I'm not completely clueless over what they have. And so at least a conversation with a sales representative there is going to be handy. Um, that you're not going to be like railroaded by some person saying like, well, no, you need to get this one. You need to spend an extra $200 on this acoustic guitar. And it's like, well, no, my boy Luan, I listened to him and he said, I don't really need to. I just need the guitar I like and I'm going to get my Hello Kitty guitar. So get me a deal on the Hello Kitty guitar because I love it. <laughs> and then and that's it. That's what you do. Well, I hope this helps. Please let me know in the feedback if this helps you guys buy his guitar. And please... If you buy a guitar, please type in the community chat in the guitar categories. Let us know the guitar you just buy. Post a picture of it. Say, finish the course, bought my first guitar, and then I will see you in the intro to guitar playing course um, very soon. So thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.